around 700 million years ago, our planet started to cool. It was the beginning of an ice age. No one's quite sure why it happened, but it seems that our entire world was plunged into an interminable winter. Some scientists have called it the time of snowball Earth, because the whole planet may have appeared as an icy ball. Others believe that the Earth was cold, but not completely frozen. Today, the average surface temperature of the planet around the world is 15 degrees Celsius. 700 million years ago, it was much colder. That average surface temperature plummeted to minus 50, 50 degrees Celsius. Most of the sun's heat was reflected back to space. It looked like the Earth might never heat up again. But clearly something happened. It was volcanoes that came to the rescue. They erupted with tremendous force, even blasting through the ice sheets that covered much of the planet. It must have been an extraordinary time. The nearest we've experienced was in 2004, when an eruption was filmed bursting through an ice sheet in central Iceland. This is what would have happened millions of years ago, but on a global scale. The heat from volcanoes would have melted holes in the ice, but that's not what saved our planet. It was the tons of carbon dioxide gas it released that did the trick. As volcanoes continued to erupt, levels of carbon dioxide steadily built up in the atmosphere. Until around 630 million years ago, the layer of carbon dioxide became so thick that it trapped enough heat to release the planet from its endless winter. At last, a thaw began. Fierce storms pounded the planet, and Earth's cold and slushy climate began to warm. In just a few hundred years, temperatures would rise dramatically, and Earth would never be the same. Fortunately, over time, our planet's climate stabilized, and Earth slowly returned to normal. Volcanoes had set the stage for a dynamic new era.